everyone it is danny and welcome to this updates video this morning i hope you're doing great and we're going to be talking about what is happening across the atlantic so we're looking at these satellite imagery here and we can see that there is a lot of moisture a lot of activity going on to the south of the Cape verde islands off the african coast so there is a lot of instability right there there's some thunderstorms as well let's zoom into the area here and we can see that this is kind of being pushed toward the east all this convection is being pushed toward the east why is that so you may ask well that is the work of the wind shear so typically there is an increase in wind shear in the off season months of course the hurricane season of 2023 has now ended and we're in the off season months now for the next couple of months but we could still see something trying to develop within the time frame so here we are looking at the wind shear map it may be a bit confusing to see but we can see all those red lines those red lines indicate those stronger upper level winds and these winds are coming in from the U.S. generally. So there's the African coast right there. There are the Cabo Verde Islands and all that activity is located there. So winds up to 50 knots, maybe a bit higher than that or stronger rather, are displacing all that activity toward the east as it builds up. So there you can see, let's go back to these satellites. Notice that's kind of eastward uh, direction of all that convection. So that is the work of the wind shear. Now, this is along the intertropical convergence zone. That is where the trade winds of the north and south meet. And sometimes when they do, we see activities such as this. And that is one of the sources of rainfall for parts of South America as well as the South Caribbean. And in the long term, it is likely that we could see one of those areas of moisture actually inducing quite a bit of rainfall across portions of northern South America. This is the long term forecast in terms of the rainfall expected. So this goes out to the 10th of December and where we see those purples, those pinks. Uh, those are going up to the higher rainfall totals and in those pink areas that bright pink that vibrant pink there around three to four inches of rainfall so again this is expected through december 10th so it's not all expected in just one or two days but take a look at this the areas that are likely to receive some substantial rainfall include parts of central south and south america and just in the vicinity of trinidad and tobago so there could be a lot of moisture within the area which will eventually help to induce quite a bit of rainfall activity across some of these areas parts of northern guyana going to brazil of course over in colombia southern venezuela we're seeing some of those pink and purple shades popping up of course i'll be keeping you guys posted but let's look at what is expected for today zooming into the caribbean we're not seeing where much is happening right now there are those little clusters of clouds coming in from the east being carried by the trade winds and with that it is exactly that there will be some rainfall activity across portions of the lesser Antilles. So some showers may be moving through at times, light to moderate showers, even some heavy showers are possible across some areas, but nothing too significant is happening right now. We're not seeing this map looking very colorful with all that convection because that drier, more stable pattern is kind of setting in now. However, uh, we definitely want to watch for the fronts coming down from the U.S. because that will influence the weather across portions of the Caribbean, especially the northwestern Caribbean. And in terms of the rainfall forecast for today, this is what Euro is expecting today into the very, very early morning hours of tomorrow. So those green shadings represent uh, just around a quarter of an inch of rainfall or less. And then as we head more towards those shades of oranges, we're going just under an inch of rainfall activity and those reds, one going up to two inches of rainfall. So we can see that across much of the Caribbean, it's really those green and some spots of those yellow shadings. So again, there could be some rainfall activity moving through for parts of Guadeloupe, Dominica, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, even parts of Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados could experience some rainfall and elsewhere across the Lesser Antilles. ABC Islands rainfall activity is going to be nearby, maybe some light showers at times or nothing. And then for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, similar story, Hispaniola, Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands and uh, portions of the Bahamas similar story as well and quite a bit of activity is expected offshore they were seeing some of those 
uh, more colorful patches out there. Turks and Caicos Islands not expected to experience much as we head through today. And then as we head now to Central America, some areas are experiencing some heavy rain as a result of a front in the area, but that's been dissipating. As a result, there's going to be that improved weather, mostly that sunshine across much of southern Mexico, as well as sections of Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, the offshore islands, the Keys, uh, the Bay Islands of Honduras, but across sections of especially Nicaragua heading toward Costa Rica and Panama, uh, we could see some downpours within the area and even Colombia as well, even some heavier downpours possible there. But across uh, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana, a whole lot of rainfall is not expected. And even if there is, uh, there will be some heavy downpours that's not going to be very widespread across a very large area. Now we want to head up into portions of the US. Here we can see that the map becomes very, very colorful uh, because a lot of rainfall activity is possible across much of these southern states looking toward the gulf coast states especially louisiana we're seeing some of those purples and pinks so there could be quite a bit of rainfall which unleashed flash flooding across some areas and there's even a chance of some severe weather taking place across portions of the state and we're even seeing some of those purple shadings as well for portions of the panhandle of Florida and near Destin. So there could be quite a bit of rainfall activity for uh, sections of the U.S. as we head through today. And of course, guys, I'm going to continue to keep you posted as time goes by. So again, we could see rainfall activity, all that moisture kicking up for portions of South America and even other areas such as Trinidad with all that activity along the intertropical convergence zone that is possible. And we definitely have to keep our eyes out for the fronts that will come down from the U.S. later in winter. And as of right now, a whole lot of activity is not expected across much of the Caribbean. So that's it for now. I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weather wise.